Let's talk about China now. The Communist Party's latest source of threat, Tesla cars. They fear Tesla could be spying for America, so they're banning these cars from some places. Next month, an important meeting is coming up. The Communist Party will have its annual summer retreat. Chinese leaders will gather in a coastal district called Beidehi. This is an annual summit. The top Chinese leadership meets behind closed doors. They discuss policy ideas. They talk about future plans. And ahead of this event, Tesla cars have been banned from this coastal district. They cannot enter the district for the next two months. The ban starts from the 1st of July. How does China explain this ban? As always, it does not. Local police in Bede, he say, the decision was based on quote unquote national affairs. What does that even mean? And these bans are not new, by the way. Earlier, a similar ban was imposed in Chengdu. Chinese President Xi Jinping recently paid a visit to that city, and that's when Tesla cars were asked to leave certain areas. Again, those restrictions were temporary. But there are places in China where Tesla cars are permanently banned, like Chinese military complexes. Last year, the Chinese military had banned Tesla, so these cars cannot enter any PLA facility. Some state employees are also barred from using a Tesla. The reason they cite is national security. So the question is, can a Tesla be a security threat? Well, technically, yes. But then why just Tesla? This applies to all modern vehicles. They're more than just cars. They're smart, smart machines. They come with a lot of sensors. They can detect road lanes, even nearby cars. A Tesla also comes with eight cameras. The drivers can use them to look around. They can see what's happening near the car. And China does not like the idea of it. It fears that Tesla can be turned into a spying tool that the cameras on this car can watch Communist Party members. They can take photos and videos and send them to servers in America. Elon Musk has rejected this charge. He says Tesla cannot be used for spying and that car cameras do not work outside North America. But China is not convinced. And what an interesting pivot. In 2019, China rolled out the red carpet for the same Tesla. It now calls Tesla a national security threat because it's a car with cameras. And it's ironic because China is the champion of spying with cameras. China has millions of cameras to monitor these cars and the people inside them, and all kinds of cars. We've told you why China is called a surveillance state. It has the biggest domestic surveillance system in the world, and Beijing keeps upgrading the system all the time. Now, a new report has thrown up new details about Beijing's surveillance powers, about its scale and sophistication. China has half of the world's CCTVs. That's what the report says. The world has close to 1 billion surveillance cameras. China is believed to have half of them, 500 million cameras. 500 million. What do you do with so many cameras? You spy. Look at the Chinese province of Fujian. Reports say Fujian has about 7,000 camera feeds. They store photos of 2,000 faces every day. The local police keeps this data. They store it for six months. So at any given time, the police in Fujian has access to more than 2.5 billion faces. More than 40 million people live in Fujian, but the cameras capture a person several times. And that's how the police gets pictures of 2.5 billion faces. What does China do with this kind of data? They use it to build profiles of people, what they wear, where they live, where they go, how they commute and who they meet frequently, basically a complete profile of an individual. Recent upgrades have added more capabilities to China's surveillance. Phone trackers are now believed to be everywhere in China. Using these, Chinese authorities can track the movements of any citizen. And that's not all. Authorities in Guangdong are deploying audio capturing equipment. They record clips of what people are saying. The next step, they say, is analyzing what people say. The police is also collecting the DNA and iris scans of citizens. 23 out of 31 provinces and regions of China already have such databases, DNA and iris bases. What will China do with all of this data? The Chinese state basically wants to know everything about its citizens, what they're up to at any given point in time. The idea is to identify, track and eventually crack down on all potential dissenters, even if they are in a Tesla car. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.